What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be talking about should you summon for Kaching. Now the reason why we're talking about this, obviously, is because Kaching now has a banner out. It is her rate up banner. Don't get it confused with the normal banner, which has her picture on it. But yes, this banner right here is the Kaching rate up banner. And along with Kaching, you have Bennett, Barbara, and Ningguang on the banner. Now the question is, should you summon? So... Uh, me being a person that has Kaching, uh, I've invested into her a little bit, quite a bit, actually, you know, to get her stuff maxed out. Um, I can tell you she's a really fun character to play. She's a really cool character. Um, she is, you know, uh, female, so I know a lot of you guys are going to be happy. Uh, and electricity is just one of the coolest elements out there. Uh, so yeah, all around, she's a really cool character. Uh, main DPS of type of unit. Does she out DPS some of the top tier DPSs? The answer is no. But she still gets the job done, right? Why? It doesn't matter if the boss has 100 HP, and let's say D Luke does 200 damage, and Kaching does like 150 damage. Did the boss still die? Well, the answer is yes. The boss still died. So, um, yeah, she doesn't out DPS some of the top tier DPS, but it doesn't matter. Because she still does a lot of damage. She does really good damage. She's a really cool unit. She's really fun to play. So, uh, there you go. Now, I want to say for anybody that is thinking about playing the character. I want to tell you right now. Make sure you test run the character. And speaking of test run. They actually allow you to test run her with this weapon right here. The Jade Cutter. So, keep in mind that is the weapon that she has on in there. Uh, I actually did a showcase, uh, I want to say a week or two ago over Kaching. So if you guys have not seen that already, definitely check that showcase out. I will also be doing another showcase because um, in the other showcase I did, I used Jade Cutter, right? In the showcase, I'm going to probably do what? Tomorrow maybe? I'm going to use the Black Sword because uh, like I said, I did I used Jade Cutter in the other one. So if you guys want to see like a, not a free-to-play weapon, but a light spender weapon, a weapon that is easily accessible, uh, I will be doing a showcase over the Black Sword with Kaching, so you guys can see all of that. Uh, it's R3. It would be R4, but I ended up getting the Serpent Spine the first time around, so it's R3. There you go. Um, I'll showcase everything in that video, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, as far as Kaching, like I said, she's a pretty cool unit. Um, the unit's on her banner. Bennett, obviously, top tier, best four star in the game. Easy. Barbara, free-to-play healer. Barbara's been given out for free like three times, okay? So you don't even need Barbara. Uh, looking at Ningguang. Ningguang is a really cool unit. Uh, more of a DPS of type of unit. She's geo damage. Keep in mind, with the uh, event that is going on right now, the Stand By Me event, you are able to pick Ningguang if you want to. You're also allowed to pick any of these other characters if you want to. So just keep that in mind if you're looking to get Ningguang for the first time or you're looking to get a dupe or whatever the case may be. Now, obviously the question stands, should you summon? First and foremost, it's completely up to you. I'm not your parent. If you want to summon so bad, if you love Kaching so much, that's your, that's, that's on you. But if you're asking me, I'm going to say 100% no. And the reason why I say 100% no, Bennett is a really good unit. Yes, I get it. Bennett is amazing. But I feel like at this point, a lot of people have Bennett already. And the reason why I say that is because he's been on one or two. I think it's one other banner for sure. But I think it might have been two other banners. But I know one other banner for sure, which I believe was Albedo's. And then he's also been in the Starglader shop. And I know some people are going to say, oh, Diaz, well, I didn't pull Bennett. I don't have Bennett. If you want to summon for Bennett, sure, be my guest. But as soon as you pull Bennett, you need to pull out of the banner. Um, and the reason why I say this is if you look at her banner details, all right, look at her banner details, you have Kachin, and then you have Chi Chi Jean Mona D. Luke. Now, the reason why this matters so much is because Kaching is one of the starting five stars, meaning she's going to be on every single banner in the game. Venti's banner is going to have Kaching, Chi Chi, Jean, D. Luke, Mona. Right? Zhongli's banner had Kaching, Chi Chi, Jean, D. Luke, Mona. Albedo's banner had, you see what I'm getting at? She's going to be on every single banner. So, you summoning on this banner, I get it, right? A lot of you guys probably love Chi Chi, or Kaching, excuse me. Um, they both got the Chi in their name. But this is the thing 
about it. You're not getting as much value summoning on her banner because she's not limited over summoning on a limited banner and pulling her. There's so many people that summoned for Zhao and pulled Kaching. Now, I know a lot of them are going to be like, oh, man, that's bad, and I get it, but it's a lot better to pull her unfeatured on a limited banner than to pull her featured on her banner when all the units on the banner are on every other banner, right? So, um, I'm going to say it's a skip. If you guys want to summon, be my guest. I mean, like I said, it's up to you. I'm not your parent. Do what you want to do. But I uh, definitely recommend if you're free to play or light spender, skip the banner. So, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.